Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your host of Rising Oblivion. Sorry, I've been gone for a little while here. I've been sick and I've been doing a lot of interviews. I've got a new job, so that's exciting. But that's 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 just catching up on me. But today I have a pretty interesting video. So not too long ago, near the hype of the Persona 3 Portable and the Persona 4 Golden ports, Atlas did a poll for the Persona 4 and Persona 4 Gold music. Not just that, but also the P3 stuff, but I might save that for a separate video. This is going to be about P4's poll, and they polled for the best tracks voted by the fan base for Persona 4 and Persona 4 Golden. So the poll went from December 17th to December 26th. So I had a little bit of time there. I don't even remember this being a thing, but I was like just doing so much stuff for holiday. Kind of a weird time I think to do polls, but I think they just wanted to catch the like heat of all of the traffic and stuff that was going around with these new ports. So I guess that's kind of what happened. I'll throw a picture here on screen. This is the kind of new thing that they have here. The songs have been delivered to a special mix by DJ Waka, which I guess is something similar they did for Persona 5 Royal when they did the top 30 songs. This is just going to be the top 10 songs though for Persona 4 Golden, and they did do a little live stream for this, but I figured this would be a cool idea. I, I'm also curious about this because Persona 4 Golden, at least in like particular, has so many good songs and like I feel like our people are super, like, I don't know, like, passionate about Persona music. I am too, but, like, they just completely tear people apart by, like, liking certain tracks or whatever. But let's just go down the line here and take a look at these songs and see, like, what everybody voted for. I'm curious because, like I said, so many people are passionate about Persona music, including myself. But let's go right into this. Number 10 is I'll Face Myself Battle Theme, which is one of the typical themes that always plays in Persona 4, but I don't know. The thing about battle themes is they get a little bit old over time, or they either feel like they kind of get better over time. I've always thought that with JRPGs, but this is one that I don't actually think is too bad. Um, I think P5's battle themes get pretty repetitive. P3's, I'm not super huge on, but P4, I'll face myself, honestly, not too bad. I think it's one of the better, like, Atlas... I guess like battle tracks you could say i like soul hackers as well but um i'll face myself isn't too bad number nine is shadow world so everybody battles whether or not p4's intro is better or p you know for golden's intro is better shadow world landed at number nine i don't think it's too bad man i really don't i think shadow world's fine a lot of people dog on it they they don't like the, like the harmonica in it and shit but like that's understandable, I guess, but I think it's like kind of unique and different. I, I still love Shadow World. I think it's great. Number eight, we have Pursuing My True Self. Again, an absolute classic. I love that song as well. Number seven is Snowflakes, which kind of surprised me. I figured Snowflakes would actually be higher. I feel like tons of people always talk about Snowflakes being their favorite or Heaven. Heaven being my personal all-time favorite. It might be my all-time favorite just mega 10 track in general i love heaven i love its remixes and whatnot on the dancing games and stuff which would be cool to see i'd love to see like one of the the dancing games kind of get this treatment because there's so many extra tracks and remixes in there it'd be interesting i thought about maybe even doing something like that for myself on this channel or having polls or something like that along those lines for the dancing games and the other games and stuff because these polls again i don't think we're done at, like the best time but I digress. Snowflakes at number seven. A lovely track. A beautiful track. I love that. Number six, Time to Make History, which, you know, you can't really beat that one. That one's pretty good as well. Number six being Time to Make History. Number five being Nevermore. I, for some reason, see the name Nevermore, and I don't know what track that is. I can't remember what track that is, but it's up there. It's number five. Number four, Reach Out to the Truth first battle so if you didn't know there's actually a couple different alterations for reach out to the truth but a lot of people love reach out to the truth and i don't blame them that is probably one of the best tracks that persona 4 golden has to offer and this is just the first battle sort of battle theme of that but we'll hold your horses we still have a couple more slots here for the actual you know song itself not just the sort of battle theme track number three being heaven which oh my god heaven that's my all-time favorite track. It's gotta be, if you played Persona 4 Golden, you know, I'm not gonna try and spoil anything, but just even, like, the characters that connected to it, it is a, technically, like, a dungeon theme. And when you hear the song and you see the map that it's played in and understand the story and everything, it just makes it all that much better. I think Heaven has the best, like, remixes as well. 
Heaven has multiple remixes on um, the Persona 4 Dancing game with even the Hatsune Miku song that is sort of like covered. I don't know if you guys knew this, but the Dancing game was supposed to be done by the same teams who did the Hatsune Miku, um, I guess you could say dancing slash sort of rhythm games. Which is funny, because then they just give her a cameo, I guess, in um, the game after Atlas took it over and decided to just develop the game themselves. They still paid homage to Hatsune Miku, giving that like a DLC character, I guess, but also gave a song with it as well, and it was a remix of Heaven. I love that. I love the other remixes. Just normal Heaven is pretty damn good as well, so it being number three, I completely understand. I love that track. The, I mean, it, it's really good. Number two, Your Affection. Without a doubt, has to be the best like overworld theme. I think it's a perfect theme. Beneath the Mask is pretty damn good too. P3s is a little weaker. I know that's hard to say, but I think your affection is just, it's a teeny bit repetitive. Beneath the Mask though, in the overworld theme, you get like acoustic versions, you get kind of versions with the heavy rain, the non-lyric versions. You have a couple different alterations there when it comes to Beneath the Mask, so that's good. If you know what that is, that's P5's sort of overworld theme. Same thing with your affection. That's sort of the overworld theme. Your affection being number two here. It makes sense. I mean, the track that's supposed to be the background theme of when you're always walking around and playing, like, it has to be pretty good, right? You can't just make that be your throwaway song. It has to be the song that keeps people going. And funny enough, this song, Your Affection, is how I actually got into the community. I was watching people playing Persona 4 Gold and streaming it and stuff like that, and I kept hearing that overall theme. I'm like, damn, that song is so good. So what I ended up doing was looking up a bunch found all the other songs that got me interested in it, then I got P4 and got P5, and then I started making YouTube videos about it, and here I am. So, that's kind of my story with your affection, how P4, I guess, brought me into the Persona slash Mega 10 community, and number one, guys, being Reach Out to the Truth, which I had a feeling was going to be up there. I thought Snowflakes was going to be higher. Your affection, heaven, that makes sense for being up there. Reach Out to the Truth, that makes sense. I figured all those songs would be like, top five i think it just depends more on preference what you like more your affection maybe i think snowflakes could have been somewhere around there instead of um your affection maybe i don't know again the overall themes are good but they're not like uh i don't think they're as good right because they need to be something that's not super distracting and taking away from the overworld where like battles and stuff like that it's supposed to be amped up high energy it makes sense for it to be more i guess kind of distracting in that way i suppose make the the battle's less less boring, I guess. At least when it comes to JRPGs, I always feel like that's kind of a thing. I don't know. Do you guys agree with this top 10? What is your top 10? Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you have your favorite tracks from Persona 4 Golden? Do you even know if you played the game? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know your top 10 tracks of Persona 4 Golden. And do them in order. Like, just, just go ahead and try. You know, 1 through 10, what you think is your top 10 favorite tracks of Persona 4 Golden. I might actually kind of do a small little poll myself here and actually go through the comments and see what people sort of think, I guess, on sort of this side of stuff, like the YouTube more content creation side, and seeing what people think there. This poll, I think, more than likely was more sort of Japan-based, so I'm curious to know what you guys think. A lot of the people who are in, like, the YouTube community and the, I guess, like, social media community when it, when it comes to, like, Mega 10 and Persona and stuff like that, let me know. I'm curious to see what you guys got to say. But that's going to be for this video, guys. I'm going to have more content out as soon as I can. Doing more streams. I'll get back to streaming Persona 3. I, Like I said, I got sick and then I was looking for jobs and stuff. And um, I got really caught up. I got really sick. Like really badly sick for like two weeks. But um, I think I'm back. I think I'm good. I think I'm alright. That's going to be this video, guys, though. Like, comment, subscribe for more content. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching.